Uh, my name is Sue Chan. Um, I'm the brand director at Momofuku, and I also co-founded Tokla Society, which is a woman in hospitality group. Um, the point of our group is to uh, host networking events and panels and workshops um, to hopefully inspire women um, to either join the industry or to make changes um, or do the next step in their careers. Um, so I'm totally honored to be on the stage with these amazing women. And I want to make the panel less about being a woman in the industry, just because obviously right now it's very much a hot topic. Um, and I want to focus on just these women and their perspective being in the industry for so long and you know the challenges that they've come across. Um, so first off, uh, to start, you guys have all been in the industry for a while and obviously seen a lot of changes. So what has changed since when you first started in the industry to now? Barbara? I, I feel like it's just not one, um, a chef owns one restaurant anymore. So I think that it's um, uh, multiple restaurants, uh, maybe different concepts. Uh, I, I just, I feel like it's uh, definitely changed from that one restaurant to five or, or more, basically. I would say also the globalization of all the different cuisines that I've come for and, and the different chefs and teams uh, on the wine side as well. So that's a big change. Yeah. Hmm. Well, when we started our farm 17 years ago, there was no locally grown food movement, really. <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to think back to that. And we started growing stuff. My husband at the time was, was chef. And he, we started growing stuff that he wanted, like chervil and things that he couldn't get at the time. And um, we had a hard time getting anybody interested in it and uh, you know so we had to start like selling it ourselves and delivering it ourselves to, to restaurants it's like thank God Valder <laughs> came around you know after after a couple of years and started you know taking us into dis distribution because there, there it's funny there really was no interest at the time yeah, great. Mm. Um, and that kind of goes to my next question which is over all these you know, over, over all the years that you've been um, establishing yourself in your fields and in your companies and organizations, what challenges did you face? Paulette, if you could elaborate. Yeah, well, I, just over all these years. Marketing wasn't that big of a challenge for us because we, we were connected into the city. My husband being chef and I had been in the wine business for 12 years in the city. And so, you know, we, we knew chefs, we knew, we had colleagues. And so um, that wasn't the end all, and I guess that's why we persevered. Um, I mean, unfortunately with us, if I had to say the, the, uh, the mo most difficult uh, things, challenges that we face are number one, labor. Labor is uh, near impossible anymore. You know, I, I grew up on a farm in central Pennsylvania, and I keep saying, I would have given my eye teeth to work for somebody like us when I was young. Um, my older sister, she's two years older than me, she worked for two years in, in tobacco um, uh, uh, fields in, in Connecticut when she was still in high school. And when I would have been old enough to start doing that, they had stopped already. I guess the child labor laws came into effect or something. But I was really bummed. That was a great entree. Are you kidding me? My sister went on to an accelerated medical program and is a dermatologist in San Diego. You know, it's I, I feel like... People don't want to start where you have to start sometimes, you know, from the ground up. And, and I, I find that kind of sad, you know. I, 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 we, we felt the hunger for, for that type of work, and we would have done anything to, to, you know, to push on ahead. That, labor, and the weather. <laughs> but I guess, <laughs> I guess there's not much we can do about that. Rita? Um, on my end, it, when I got involved with Caravelle, which was already an ongoing restaurant, um, it was always the, the worry, I mean, the, the challenge of um, updating a classic without altering what it's supposed to be. So that was always a quest, uh, which we did up to a point, and then we had to close 10 years ago. Then I continued with the champagne, but that was one big challenge, interesting challenge, uh, but a big one. Mm. And then on a personal level, I would say the do it all, you know, the mom, the wife, the professionals, I mean, all, all working women have that, but, uh, but uh, yeah. yeah. I, I think my challenges were um, <clears throat> probably um, leaving the kitchen um, because I would work seven days a week, 
18 hour days for up until maybe three years ago, until I decided uh, to, to hire a COO and, um, and then give it to him <laughs> to run, where he said, well, now you're the founder where I found myself just floundering as a founder because I was, what does a founder do? I'm so used to being in that kitchen, <laughs> designing menus and, and, and catering like a mad woman. So um, over the last year and a half, the founder has founded more things to do and to grow. <laughs> um, that was a challenge. It was basically a challenge for me to go back into the restaurants and, and, and wear a white chef's coat and, you know, as, as I grew, uh, so has my crew, and there's really no space for me in a kitchen unless I demand it. Well, it does happen, but no need to. Um, I like to work with them. I'm pretty lucky that I am in Boston. All eight of them are in the city. Um, the challenge is, that was a personal challenge. Now getting to spend time with my daughter, who's 10, is another amazing personal challenge because you just don't want them to grow up especially when you buy them clothes and you're like, shit, she's really growing. Um, and the other challenge I feel now is um, rents and developers, and which puts such pressure on restaurateurs, on farmers, winemakers. I mean, we all have to make money. And I, I, I really am concerned about developers, and I wish our city, Boston, would put a cap on what they could charge per rent, blah, 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 so that you know you could have more independent restaurant owners. I mean, I saw a huge spur of a growth spur of um, commercial restaurants, mostly steakhouses. I mean, I, we're not Chicago, so I don't think we need 25 steakhouses in Boston. So those are challenges. That's great. Um, um, so my next question is about work-life balance. Um, I feel like whenever I read stories of highly successful people, all of them like don't really sleep, but are have 12 different activities and do them all perfectly. So it's always, I think, nice to hear the real truth, which is that I have had to make sacrifices. So I'd love to hear from you guys like what sacrifices you've had to make in order to be as successful as you are. Uh, I would say spending, I mean, when you're doing it, spending less time with your kids. Um, with your husband, for me, I was working with my husband, so it doesn't apply, but we're not being not enough with the kids was a constant cloud above my head. However, um, I made sure that when we were with them, you know, it was quality time. And the, the best uh, lesson now, the best result is that our three boys are extremely hardworking uh, professionals, which tells me somewhere that that's, that that's what the example they see, and then they say, oh, this is the norm, is there any other way? And, and so to me, at the end of the day, I probably worried too much for nothing, but I'd rather do it this way than the other way around, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, I um, wanted to know if any of you had planned on getting older in the industry, because I find, as a middle-aged woman, it was a really bad career move. <laughs> I'm not getting older. <laughs> Fantastic. What, what is old? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not going to happen. Uh, shit happens. No, I mean. <laughs> and you keep on going. I, I'm, I'll write it as, I'm happy. I like, I mean, I, I like what I do. I, I, I can't work 18-hour days anymore, for sure. But I, I do, I'm a super, I'm a good delegator. Super good delegator. Um, but I love, uh, I love creating stuff. I love, I love working with the people I work with. Actually, I love seeing them succeed. So, uh, you know, where I'm at the next phase of where I'm going to brand me now. I'm not going to go on the home, home network or selling pots and pans. But, um, you know, I want to grow, and I also I want to grow for the for my, not for my team, but I want to. They're with me for lifers, some of them, and. Uh, Let's go. Let's let's get let's get more on our plate. evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it all evolves with time. It's about different steps at different times of your life. So yeah, just go with it. Yeah, go for it. Well, I want to get a round of applause for these amazing women on behalf of Baldor. Thank, Thank you, you very much.